New developments in the case against four teens accused in the deadly rock throwing incident in Genesee County. The teens in court today learning they will have more time to enter into a new agreement. It comes a month after a judge decided to sentence them as adults. TV 5 Scott Walchek was in court today and he has more on what lies ahead for these teens. Both the family of the victim and the families of the accused in court for what could have been a sentencing, but that ended up not being the case. I'm also, frankly, tired of playing tennis with myself on this case. Judge Joseph Farah, tired of games, but allowing defense attorneys more time to work on a new bargain for Trevor Gray, Alexander Miller, Mark Sikelski, and McCaden Payne. The four teenagers, along with Kyle Anger, who was not in court, today are accused of killing Kenneth White by throwing a large rock off the Dodge Road overpass over I-75, the rock smashing through White's car, killing the 32-year-old father. The four Clio teens already pled guilty to manslaughter on condition they'd be sentenced as juveniles, but Judge Farah wouldn't allow it. There will be no jail sentence. There will be no prison sentence. That person in juvenile court will be considered to be on probation. The defense attorney's unhappy with that. Everybody on this case has said that this is a juvenile case that should be resolved with a juvenile sentence. The only one that has not said that is Judge Farah. And he has his reasons and he has the authority to say that. But that should in no way deter us. They say the original bargain was agreed to by Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton and his authority should outrule the judges in this case. Uh, the case law is very clear that any type of plea bargaining would come from the prosecutors and the defense attorney and the judge plays absolutely no role in that. The attorneys have until September 15th to write that proposal for Judge Farah to look at and they also are going to appear in court September 24th. We'll let you know what happens. Reporting in Genesee County Scott Walchek, WNEM TV5.